Today I'm making barbecued pulled pork. First, I have pork tenderloin in here. We're just going to sprinkle it with a salt and pepper mixture all over it. Then we're going to rub that in all the pork loin, just rub it all around. So all sides get a little. Gonna rub it around. So you get some on all sides. We're going to bake this in the oven on 350 for about four hours. Every hour we're going to check it, pull it apart a little, make sure it's not getting overly done. Once you get your rub on, then we're going to take two cups of pork broth, put that in the pot. That way it has moisture in there to soak into the meat and the meat won't dry out. Any flavored barbecue sauce, you know, that you like, doesn't matter. Any flavor will do. Whatever your favorite is, that'll be the best to put on this. Once you get your rub on and your pork broth in, we're going to put it in the oven for an hour and then check it. This is our pork tenderloin after about an hour so it's starting to get done we're gonna cook it another hour check it make sure it's all got some of the pork broth on it so it doesn't dry out stick it in for another hour then we're gonna take it out and cut off all our fat and then put our barbecue sauce on it our pork has been cooking for two hours so any fat that is on your meat, we're going to take it off now. Just take it, cut the fat edges off. Because you don't want any fat in your pulled pork. Don't want any fat in your pulled pork. So then, see, because it's tenderloin, comes apart pretty easily but first we're going to cut off all the fat off our all our pieces and then take out the pork broth and replace it with barbecue sauce okay Now that you have all your fat, cut off your pork loin meat. Then we're going to add our barbecue sauce. Whatever flavor barbecue sauce you like the best, we're just going to stick it on there. Now you're going to stir it up so all the pieces have barbecue sauce on them. And if you notice when I started out, when I put the rub on, there was chunks of meat. Well, in all fairness, I started out with frozen pork loin that was already cut in pieces and thawed it out and cooked it at the same time. That way it's not tough. It's a lot softer because you're starting out with meat that has moisture in it already because it was in the freezer. And you're taking it from frozen to baked. So after everything is covered, we're going to put the lid back on, put it in for an hour, and you'll have pulled pork. And I forgot to tell you that I did strain all the pork broth out of the pot. And we're going to save it for either you can put it, uh, make a gravy with it, or put it in noodles or uh, put it in stuffing.
It's very good in that too. So we don't want to waste anything. We don't want to throw that broth away because it's really good. So now we're going to put this in the oven for an hour. After three and a half hours, our pulled pork is done. It just falls apart with a fork, just like that. You can tear it apart in as little as pieces as you like. Put it on a sandwich, and you have a nice barbecued pork sandwich. I hope you like my recipe. Like and subscribe to my channel. Till next time.